Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, altitude sensor or altimeter. Um, this was about 15 bucks from SparkFun. Uh, see if we can get it to focus here. There we go. We can see that we've got SDA, SCL, voltage, and ground, so it communicates over the I2C channel. I've got it hooked up to the Arduino Mega here, and we've got voltage, ground, I2C, really simple to set up. They do recommend putting resistors on the I2C channels since the Adreno operates on a 5 volts um, logic level. Um, I'll be putting those in when this thing's ready to fly, but for right now it seems to work fine with the 5 volt logic, but not something I want to do long term. The Adreno Mega is going to be collecting data from the sensor. The sensor can measure altitude, air pressure, and temperature. It is then going to send the data to the Pi over the USB. So let's go ahead and plug this in here. There we go. And we'll head over to the computer. We'll take a look at the code for the Arduino. We'll take a look at the code on the Pi, and we'll see how it works. All right, so the first thing I want to look at is the code for the Arduino. This was an example program that I found with the library. Um, it's pretty simple. There's not a lot to this here. Um, we're just going to import the libraries to find the, the sensor here as an object, um, turn on the I2C, set the serial to output here, um, turn on the sensors here, and then it just uh, has a really easy API um, to read the altitude and feet, we can read the pressure, we can read the temperature, and that all gets outputted here over the serial port. Um, if we were to run this, actually, let me just, I'll just plug this in here. Okay, now we can open the serial monitor, and we can just see the stream of data. The code over here originally called for having uh, labels printed on different pieces of data, but I'm not interested in that because I have to deal with it when it goes over to the Pi. So we just want this stream of data. We've got the pressure, um, the altitude, or it's, uh, altitude, pressure, and temperature. So let's plug that back into the Pi, and we'll take a look at the Python code right over here. And I also want to bring up the uh, putty terminal here, because if we open up uh, that serial port on the screen application that I've been using for all of this, we can see the exact same data coming into the Pi. So that's going to work great over here. Close out of that. Now, here's what we've got for Python. This, I made this more difficult than it really needed to be. I spent way too long on this. It ended up being pretty easy. We're just importing the serial library, the time library, opening the port, and I'm going to get 10 samples here. I was trying to use the read until command that I was using with the, um, with the cellular modem, but, with the way the data is formatted, we can just use read line. And it just takes that first line of data, and we're going to split it with from the commas here, and that yields a list. Um, if for whatever reason we get a decoding error, we're just going to set everything to zeros. And then we're going to pick out each of the variables. So in position zero, we've got altitude, Position 1 has pressure, position 2 has temperature. If there's any errors there, set them to 0. And then we're just going to print each of those here and repeat it 10 times and sleep for one second between, and then we'll just close the serial port and be done. So let's run this. Well, that's no good. All right, turns out the problem was that the serial port never got closed when I was demonstrating with the putty terminal. Um, 
I just restarted the Pi, everything works great now, so let's go ahead and run this. And we get each of our variables. We got altitude, pressure, temperature, everything works exactly as it's supposed to. So what I'll end up doing here is uh, saving those to a CSV file along with the other data from the SenseHat. That's, that was a couple months ago, but if you want to see how I did all that with the SenseHat, go check out that video. Um, this will all get saved in that same CSV file, and this will be hanging outside the payload package, reading the external temperature, the external air pressure. Um, it'll be very interesting to see the difference in temperature and pressure inside versus outside of the package, and also get a second reference point for the altitude in addition to the altitude from the GPS tracker. Um, I'll also be using the Adreno Mega for um, speed of sound experiments. We'll be doing that inside the package rather than outside. Um, I'll talk more about that next week. Well, that's all I've got for today. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I'd love to read your comments below, and I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.